Hi everyone. In this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on the importance of the God kind of life that is in us and why Satan wants us to live a degraded life. Prepare to be blessed by this video production. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. How many of you have seen people you used to know before they were upgraded politically? Say to a governor and you can say you are now the CEO. We used to be roommates. You are right. But something happened to that person. Whether election, selection, qualification, merit that upgraded that person. Are we together? So when you come into Christ, you are no guy, a normal human being. And it's difficult to understand because it's a spiritual reality. And because we are usually natural people, it would take a, a, some moments of upgrade for us to accept that that reality has been planted in our spirit. But he gave us forgiveness. He gave us righteousness. He gave us life. If you know this already, you will see why certain diseases should not remain. It is not just because of your prayer. It is not just because of your fasting. Your prayer and your fasting must be driven by this consciousness that you were given life. Someone say life. Shalika Paragus Iata. Life. This is what he gave. Life. Life. Not just forgiveness of sins. Life. Are we together now? Yes. So when you believe that you have been given that life, everything from you, we're coming to that. Hopefully that will be my session tomorrow. But if you do not know that in addition to forgiveness, you were given righteousness. In addition to righteousness, you were given life. Someone prophesy life. Forget about what is happening in your life. For life there means I've been given access to abundance. Life means I've been given access to dominion. Life means I've been given access to speed. Life means I've been given access to command restoration. Life means I can tame life. This life, it is a victorious life. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. So he gave us forgiveness, righteousness, and life. Let me define for you life from the Bible's perspective. If I stop here, we've done justice to the introduction tonight. Because if we are examining the river of life, it's important to know what life is. Life here, based on scripture, is beyond mere existence. This is what you need to understand. When the Bible talks about life, it is not just talking of existence. It's not talking of being alive. Like you are still breathing in and breathing out. Because according to Bible understanding, a man can be dead even though alive. So when the Bible talks about life, it is beyond just being, having the ability to breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. I'll tell you what the Bible defines as life. Life here means the summation of every component that upgrades a man to the God class. This is what is called life. Every component in Christ that can upgrade an ordinary man to be and to function in the God class is what the Bible summarizes as life. Did you get that? Every component, it's a summation of every component in Christ that is able to upgrade ordinary men, mere men, to be and to reflect Christ. The Bible calls it life. This is very important. The components of fellowship with God, the components of wisdom and intelligence, the components of abundance, the components of power, for instance, the components of health and vitality. These are all components that add up to what we call life. So when Jesus says, I am come that ye may have life, now you understand what he's saying. He's not just meaning I came to give you uh, an ability to breathe in and breathe out. You already had that biological life, even in sin. He came to upgrade your quality of life to the God class. Access to fellowship with the Father, life. 
access to wisdom that surpasses all human understanding life access to superior intelligence life access to abundance life access to power even the power of the holy spirit life access to health and vitality life access to joy that is only of the holy ghost life somebody say life so when the bible says i am come every time you hear life from bible english don't just think biology you will be wrong you will be limiting the potential of that life are we together now jesus would not pay the whole price and die just to give us what we already had what he came to give us was beyond breathing in and breathing out life here is not life after death it is dominion victory a life superior that can only be traced to god behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of god and when jesus claimed to be the son of god they accused him because their understanding was that if you are the son of god you have made yourself equal with god are we together now that that life does not make us equal to god but it makes us equal with god equal to god means we can replace him equal with god means we are partakers of that quality of life are we learning already we are not equal to god there are things god has that we don't have for instance god is omnipresent he did not share that quality with man god is omniscient all-knowing he did not share that quality with man god is omnipotent all-powerful he did not share that with man our union with christ and the authority that is derived from that union it is derived it is not absolute our dominion is derived it is not absolute meaning the functionality of the believer depends on his connection to god it is not like we can function out of him in him we live in him we move and in him we have our being are we learning already so when the bible says life it's important for you to know what jesus gave you because if you are not aware of what he gave you you will not be able to maximize it i'm teaching on the river of life so life here talks about everything that has the ability every component that can upgrade a man regardless your culture regardless your background regardless the courses regardless the limitations biological sociological it doesn't matter once you receive that life the potential to be upgraded to a god class is what he gave you most believers only think jesus died to forgive their sins so they are not able they they walk free but they do not walk in dominion freedom is different from dominion are we together freedom is the consciousness that you are guiltless your fault has been pardoned but dominion is a revelation of your nature many believers are free but they are not walking in victory because victory is beyond freedom is being upgraded to a god class how many of you have seen people you used to know before they were upgraded politically say to a governor and you can say you are now the ceo we used to be roommates you are right but something happened to that person whether election selection qualification merit that upgraded that person are we together so when you come into christ you are no guy a normal human being and it's difficult to understand because it's a spiritual reality and because we are usually natural people it would take a it's some moments of upgrade for us to accept that that reality has been planted in our spirits but he gave us forgiveness he gave us righteousness he gave us life if you know this already you will see why certain diseases should not remain it is not just because of your prayer it is not just because of your fasting your prayer and your fasting must be driven by this consciousness that you were given life someone say life shalika paragoskiata life this is what he gave life life not just forgiveness of sins life are we together now yes so when you believe that you have been given that life everything from you we're coming to that hopefully that will be my session tomorrow 
but if you do not know that in addition to forgiveness you were given righteousness in addition to righteousness you were given life someone prophesy life forget about what is happening in your life for life there means i've been given access to abundance life means i've been given access to dominion life means i've been given access to speed life means i've been given access to command restoration life means i can tame life this life it is a victorious life so if i come to you and I want to solve your problems the first thing I want to know is have you received that life this is supposed to be the correct theology for evangelism that I have come to present you a gift first the forgiveness of sin clears the guilt second righteousness gives you access to the father third life the access to live victoriously you cannot be a powerful man of God without a consciousness of life life is greater than anointing anointing is what gives credence to the consciousness of life are we together now yes do you know what it means to be called a life giving spirit this is a quality of life that even Adam did not have what God restored was not the same life Adam had Adam was a living soul but he could not transfer life to any other thing you see that now if there were a sick person in the garden of Eden Adam would not be able to heal him because he was not a life-given spirit he was a living soul blessed be the name of the Lord I promise to keep to time so that life here talks about the summation of every component don't forget this every component in Christ that upgrades an ordinary man look at me when Nick, when Nebuchadnezzar became an animal my question is what part of him was degraded what is the difference between a man and an animal huh? there are animals that look like men why don't you call them men so at what point does a human being become downgraded it is a quality of life are we together now the moment you lose a certain quality of life you can no longer be called human you will be called something else fish has life animals have life the problem the reason why you cannot give them that status man is because their life is lower than the quality allotted for humans albeit they have life are we together so if i want to turn you to an animal i use situations and circumstances to stain your life such that you will be better you will not live like a human being again for instance poverty for instance pain so there are programmings that reduce men the assignment is not just to afflict your body it is an attack on your life that i will do something to this individual so when the thief comes he's not looking for your money he's looking for that quality of life that exalts you to the god class he begins to rob and by robbing he's degrading you any other thing aside from the person god created he's satisfied you need to know what satan is looking for if you think satan is looking for your finances you got it wrong if you think satan is looking for your child you got it wrong that level of passion is beyond finances that level of passion is beyond destroying your ministry it is an attack the only way God can be represented in an individual is that there is a certain kind of life you must emit to the world. It is in manifesting that life that they see God. Anything lower than that life will paint another creature, not God. Are we together now? So when Satan comes to your life, he's attacking one thing, the God factor in you. 
whatever has the ability to reveal the glory of the Lord in your life if it is the anointing upon your life in ministry he will attack that anointing if it is your children he will attack the children so the weapons that he fashions is based on the degree that it can attack the life of God in you if it is your finances he will attack your finances because in attacking your finances he has seen that it will affect the quality of your life if it is your health if being sick will discourage a thousand people he will attack your health not because of you but the effect satan is very visionary he's 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 threatened by the revelation of the life of god and all his attack is to this end the problem is we're attacking the we are looking at the finances the children why am i barren why am i not getting a job no that is a very inferior way of thinking i'm giving you spiritual intelligence that when satan comes to attack a man is beyond finance he's not interested he's beyond lack of a child or having a child that's none of his business all that he's looking for is god the god factor within that individual he wants to so damage it that your life becomes a poor representation of god it's an assignment that's why he's called the thief have you ever asked that what he steals what he kills what he destroys my question is what does he do with it if a thief steals your money is because he needs money but satan does not need what he's stealing from you so why does he steal it because it is not useful to him Why does he steal it? What does he want to do with your health? Does it add to him? What does he want to do with your finances? Is Satan looking for your job? He's not a rival in your company. He's not seeking to be a, 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 a director in the company. So why is he fighting the saints? This is what we need to understand. Jesus said, I am come that he may have life. That life is the pathway to the revelation of his glory. If you are not a custodian of that light, it is impossible for your life to glorify God. So he upgrades men by giving them that life as a gift. Are we together now? Now let me say one more thing. I hope we are learning so far. Have you forgotten anything I said so far? The Holy Spirit will bring it in, in your remembrance because it's important. This is beyond a discussion. These are the vital keys that will help you walk in glory and dominion. That when we came to Jesus Christ, as you made that altar call, if anyone has answered the altar call tonight, this is what happened to you. Whether you felt it or not, that you were given three things. The forgiveness of sin. You were given the gift of righteousness through the abundance of his grace and mercy. And that you were given life so way god's kind and god's life in fact now let me say this now i introduce the holy spirit the holy spirit i wrote here is both the conveyor and the administrator of the life of god in man the holy spirit is the conveyor he's the one who brings that life and he's the administrator that releases the potential in that life you need to listen carefully as much as it is wonderful to have received the life of god the holy spirit is the conveyor in giving you that life the office responsible for conveying that life and administering the riches embedded in that life is the office of the holy spirit we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.